Hello again, Bison Nation. Welcome to our game day preview as North Dakota State wraps up non-conference play on a Saturday at Gate City Bank Field at the Fargo Dome taking on the Robert Morris Colonials. Jeff Colhane, Jeremy Jorgensen, great to be back playing football after a bye weekend. Final non-conference game of the regular season. And I know these guys are chomping at the bit. Everybody's ready for football once again here in Fargo. Yeah, I think it's important to have a home game before conference play. Uh, another home game coming up for homecoming, but a little stretch here of home games. I think the guys are excited about it. I think it's another opportunity to fine-tune some things because the Valley's going to be a gauntlet. Mm -hmm. The Bison 2-0, and obviously, coming off of the win versus Eastern Washington. Robert Morris 2-1, and off to their best start since their NEC championship season in 2010. Seniors Nate Tangway, RJ Erzendowski, they're ready to play a game coming off a bye week. I just hate waiting. I just want to play the game because once you're into the season, you know, you just want to keep rolling and rolling, you know, no matter how exhausted you get. But, you know, I'm just really happy to finally play a game in the Fargo Dome again. Yeah, it's exciting. You know, I didn't get a chance to play at home is exciting. And then, you know, having one more tune up game before you hit league play is important too, just to kind of get us in the flow and get us ready to go because we all know how hard uh, the Missouri Valley is. The Colonials, a team out of the NEC, as we told you, 2-1, and one, playing some good football this year. They were able to beat Dayton in their season opener, first time they've beaten the Flyers since 2000, lost to Youngstown State, a Missouri Valley football conference foe for the Bison, and then got a nice win over VMI on homecoming, winning by the final of 23 to nothing. Not going to see a team that throws it all over the yard or spreads it out. This is a physical football team that looks very similar to what the Bison look like. They have a tough-minded coach. Uh, they play tough football. They want to be physical. They play very good defense. They have juniors and seniors on that defense. little inexperienced on offense. They're still working through some things there, but certainly a formidable opponent. Yeah, up front offensively, they start four true freshmen and one redshirt freshman, something perhaps Code Green can exploit. Here's Nate Tangway, Dan Marlette, talking about the opportunity on Saturday. With their five freshmen, that's what we have to take advantage of of uh, up front you know we have to use our experience we have to use our physicality the fact that we've gotten more bodies in there more different bodies that you haven't seen before is is a huge confidence booster for our defense overall not not only because you know we thought we were pretty good to begin with but now we have more depth and so you know the confidence level is just rising as we go here offensively for North Dakota State they've done a great job of running the football here early in the season they've had two 100 yard plus rushers in each of the first two games this year versus Eastern Washington Jeremy it was obviously Lance Dunn and Bruce Anderson those two guys look great and I'm sure the game plan once again let's set the tone be physical and really uh, show Robert Morris what Bison football on the ground is all about yeah and this is a great test for Bruce Anderson and Lance Dunn Robert Morris did not allow a hundred yard rusher against Youngstown they can play a little bit of run defense so it'll test these guys a little bit but they're up to the challenge and this might be a game where we see Adam Cofield uh, into the mix of the running game as well. Yep here's running back Lance Dunn discussing the game plan and the rushing attack versus RMU. It's really important um, it's going to be a grind uh, we, we got to keep uh, trying to build depth in special teams offense and defense and uh, I think we're going to be able to do that and as long as we stay healthy and everything we'll be we'll be good. So it's the Bison and the Colonials, the final non-conference game of the regular season. Could see a lot of guys, perhaps, if things go to form for the Bison. Might be similar in the second half, as we saw versus Mississippi Valley State. You got a player or two you're looking forward to watching in this game this weekend? Yeah, I really want to see Jabril Cox get some defensive reps. I, I think we will see that. Uh, he got a lot of special teams play at Eastern Washington, had three tackles there, but I think they want to get him into the mix uh, of the defensive structure out there, get him some plays, reps there, so that'll be exciting, I think. Yep, kickoff set 2.30 Central Time on the Peterson Farm Seed Bison Radio Network. As network pregame begins at 2 p.m. Central Time, our coverage here locally in the Fargo-Moorhead area begins at 11 a.m. with the Bison Tailgate Show on Bison 1660 and 92.7 FM. Also listen, of course, on our great flagship as well, 107.9 The Fox, and a great way to watch the Bison as well this weekend. Yeah, lots of options. NBC North Dakota statewide uh, in western Minnesota as well. ESPN3 nationally as far as if you want to stream it, you can get it on Go Bison as well. And then there's ESPN College Extra, a great option if you don't want to try to stream it as well, which is a direct TV channel. Yep. He's Jeremy Jorgensen. I'm Jeff Colhane. Big thanks to our director, Rich Grossman, as you've been checking out and watching our game day preview right here on GoBison.com.